Verdict is in for Albrecht Muth, and today jurors found him guilty of killing his wife. Muth, guilty of first-degree murders, also accused of beating and strangling his 91-year-old wife, Viola Draft, and trying to make it look like an accident. After his arrest, Muth starved himself down to 90 pounds. He watched the verdict reading from a hospital bed today. Now, the night Muth killed Viola in their Georgetown home in 2011, it turns out that someone was listening. Tom Rousey spoke with that woman tonight. It's an interview you will only see here on 7. Tom. Well, Leon, one issue prosecutors did have in this case that wrapped up here at the courthouse today was there was no eyewitness to the crime. That said, there was an ear witness, and we talked to her tonight, and she told us what she heard. I just thought he was a renter. I thought he rented because he was so young. That was Susan Jones's first impression of Albrecht Muth when she and her husband moved to Georgetown a decade ago. Eventually, she learned the eccentric man known for wearing military uniforms was married to fellow neighbor Viola Drath, despite a 40 plus year age difference. Jones heard rumors but never saw abuse. I just thought they were an eccentric couple and that they were in love. Jones testified in the just completed trial because of what she heard through the wall the night of the murder. I heard something that startled me a bit and it was uh, a kind of a, a little sigh or a little Oh, and then a sinister kind of laugh afterwards. She thought it was a different neighbor playing with his baby. This is what I was thinking. I mean, who would think there was a murder going on next door? It was only later she put it all together. What she had heard was the murder Muth is now convicted of. Justice has been served. It's been a long wait. Today, Drath's family was happy with the verdict. They say although Drath was 91. She was in excellent health and we're quite certain she would have lived years longer. Jones says she's glad the drafts got the verdict they wanted and she's convinced it was justice. There were no other people involved. There was no forced entry. So how could it, could there be anyone else? And it just doesn't make sense. It's really sad. Now the defense in this case argued all along that since there was no eyewitness and also no DNA evidence that there was no proof that Muth did this. But in the end, that was not enough to give the jury reasonable doubt. The sentencing for Muth is scheduled for March. Live outside the courthouse in D.C., I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Okay.